the Bulldogs of Yale come to town and they pretty much dominated Kennesaw State here. A very impressive performance inside the Convocation Center. Brian Catrick and Terrence Hill with you. Uh, this Yale team, we knew they could shoot well. We knew they could defend when they were on. Some of the opponents had had good shooting nights, but that was not the case for Kennesaw State. No, Kennesaw State struggled from the field and Yale took advantage of it. These guys are not make, making mistakes. And I tell you, they came out tonight on fire from the beginning to the end. 89-74, the final. There were some bright spots, obviously, for Kennesaw State. Five players in double figures. Tyler Hooker with 23. Jordan Jones had 12. Kyle Clark off the bench with 11 points. And boy, he had a very good night. Some couple of steals, some good leadership, too. Yeah, and he, he found his confidence on the defensive end by getting a couple of steals, but they need that for him going into conference play. Kennesaw State winds up shooting 52% on the afternoon, 74 points, but it winds up going into the loss column. James Scott, we mentioned with 14 points. He was very quiet in the first half, but heated up in half number two. Yeah, you can't wait. As for Kennesaw State, you cannot wait to start in the second half. You have to find a way that you can play both halves because first half you can be down. Um, you got to put both halves together for now. Yale was led by NBA prospect Mie Oni with 22 points and a career-high 20 from Paul Atkinson, and the Bulldogs get the victory 89-74. Kennesaw State in action again on Tuesday at home against Carver Bible. And the Owls could use something on the winning note heading into conference play. Terrence, good stuff. We'll see you on Tuesday. The Owls one game away from starting play in the A-Sun.